What's going on guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a special Q&A. Yes, we finally hit 70k. I just want to say thank you so much guys. I really appreciate the support lately. I'm not sure how far this journey will take me, but I'm doing what I love and that's all that matters. Thank you so much again for 70k. Alright, let's get into the first question. Jose asked me, are you willing to give up COD for your biggest dream? Uh, let me think about it. Psych! Guys, this is my biggest dream. Like, this is what I love to do. This is what I want to do. Maybe back in the day, you know, I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be a couple things. But this is truly what I love. This is what I have. This is what my passion is. This is what I enjoy doing every single day. And hopefully I can make it one day big enough for it. This can be. This could be. This will be my dream job. Kevy asked me, how do you calm your nerves before an event? Honestly, the best way to do that is just... You got this, man. Ain't nobody stopping you. You're the best. Let's go out, destroy these kids. Because you know what? I worked my ass too hard for this. I ain't nervous. I'm the fucking best, baby. My biggest tip is just relax. Take some deep breaths. You know, make sure you're in your head's in the game. Make sure you're in the zone. Make sure you're ready and be confident. Don't being confident is such a huge thing. Like, don't don't think you suck. Don't think you're about to get destroyed. I don't care if you're playing a pro team. I don't care if you're playing someone better than you. If you already go in with that mindset, you're gonna be nervous and you're gonna play bad. Spin asked me, who would you rather have for Black Ops 2? Scump? Krim or Karma. Even though they're all three were really good in Black Ops 2 and they're obviously were all talented, I'm about to go with Skump. I think the Skump is a phenomenal overall great player. Someone you could really work with and he would, me and him like would work well together so I'll definitely go with Skump here. Almighty asked, stab for me one time. Ah, I, I don't, I don't really do that guys. me who always motivated me to become a COD Pro player and honestly that's kind of a hard one. I know a lot of you guys who are up and coming have someone you look up to, Scumpy, Formal, uh, Nate Shot, whoever it was back in the day, whoever it was and you know I personally yeah I watched some Call of Duty Pro players play but really like what motivated me is just it was, it was my passion. It's like something I love to do, something I wanted to do. You know it wasn't necessarily a someone but just it was myself like I, I motivated myself you know, I first played COD 4 and then I, but before that I transitioned from Halo 3. I played Halo 3 for like two years and then I went to Call of Duty. So even back then, like I was watching the players in Halo, like doing crazy shit, you know, winning events. And I don't know, I just wanted Call of Duty and I had that same drive, that motivation. It wasn't any really specific players. I just wanted to be at the top. I'm a very competitive player. I love being one of the best and that's really what I was just aiming for. What are your thoughts on Nate Shaw returning back to Twitch? Mom, Nate Shot's back on Twitch. Okay, my son, bye. I'm out of here. Okay, see you later. <phone rings> What's going on, MOG? Um, Pro Play Apathy here, and I heard the news, so uh, <laughs> when are we working on our new contract out? Sticks asked me, what was it like being in phase, the environment, fans, and all that stuff? And to be honest, being on phase was amazing. I mean, the fans were always there to support you. You know, they supported you no matter what. They were there. You know, the environment was crazy. You know, it was constantly just support, support, support. You know, I have nothing but love for phase. Not only the clan itself, but for everyone in phase, including all the players, uh, most of the snipers. You know, I love Banks and Tommy. You know, Temper, I have nothing but love for those two. And just anyone really in phase, they're all great guys. And the goals they are reaching, like they're all hitting a million subscribers and stuff. It's crazy, man. I'm really happy for them. Versa asked me, how did I react when my fiance found out I was a COD player and that I did that for a living? Honestly, guys, I waited, I think, a couple weeks before I told her anything about it because I like being honest. I don't like holding things. I don't like holding lies. And obviously, I didn't want to ruin the relationship. I didn't want her to think anything of me, like that I'm a bad person or that I'm a nerd or that I'm a gamer or whatever the case was. And I really wanted to just keep our relationship relationship you know I, I was having a great time with her you know the first couple weeks we're enjoying our time you know you got the the honeymoon phase and when I finally told her uh, she was a little surprised she was kind of okay with it but at the same time she was kind of like okay you know what I'm saying and then over time you know started to cause problems still cause problems till this day like at first she was kind of okay with it but then she realized like that i've spent so much time gaming that i couldn't go out with her some nights so it wasn't over time it got a little worse faith asked how to get a better shot and you're a boss thanks bro and i have two videos to help you i have how to improve your aim and I have how to get a better shot on my YouTube channel. You guys can check these two videos out if you would like. And that will definitely help you get your better shot, better aim, whatever you guys are looking for. Deednades asked me, oh my goodness gracious, what would you do with this? And it's a picture of an ice cream. 
Honestly, man, let's pretend, let's pretend this is the ice cream. I'm like, <laughs> I'm obviously joking, guys. I probably wouldn't do anything with that. Uh, you know, maybe eat a scoop or two, but, you know, I'm on the gain train, like, <laughs> Don't, don't be giving me any of that anti-gain stuff, you know? The Mighty Slick asked me, are you gonna try to get the whip and the nay nay from the black market? Fuck okay, yeah, let's do it, bro. YOLO. Fuck. I see what this mother trucker gives us. Come on, baby. Show me some love. Nay nay. No. Ooh. Come on, come on. Give me that nay nay, baby. No. Come on. Look at my tab. Look at my tab. Look at my tab. Damn, killing me. Come on. Come on. Oh. Yo, look at my tab! Look at my nene! Look at my tab! Come on! Come on! Oh! No way! I'm almost out already! I just spent 20 bucks! Oh! Oh! That's pretty sexy. Come on, man! Come on! Oh! Nope. Damn, we have one more. Come on, give me some goodie! What? 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 Well, I'm an idiot because we actually got it. I just, I didn't know what it was called. It's called Diplo. Look at my dad, bitch, bitch. Look at my dad, bitch, bitch. Look at my dad, hey, bitch, hey. Justin asked me, would I ever own a pet tiger? Actually, Justin, fucking yes. I want to own a tiger or a lion or even a wolf. I've been wanting to have a pet wolf and the only, I feel like I can't have any of those because obviously, you know, they're a little bit too wild. Hard to tame them. They could just randomly attack me. But yes, I actually do want to own a tiger or maybe even a wolf. Deco asked me, if you could team with any three pros, who would you pick? It would probably be like Skump, Formal, and another good AR. Like Placer or Octane or something like that. Or maybe like a hybrid like Krim. I think that would be a dirty squad because me and Skump would do our thing. You know, slay, dominating the hills. We obviously have a really good AR getting kills as well. And then just have like another good decent AR. Nikki asks, favorite YouTube video you've ever made? It probably has to be impersonating a new phase. You guys have to check this video out. <sighs> Alrighty. A cheeseburger and he passed out. Hi, Pat. Hey, Melissa. Do you believe in love? At love? Oh my god. My head. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much again for 70k subscribers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you all have an amazing day. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. Peace.